Hey YouTube, it's Alicia. I am coming to talk about The Little Mermaid. I am going to be biased on the situation. I am going to be talking about um, three, well not three, four different elements. So first and foremost, I will be mentioning, I will I just, just um, letting y'all know, <clears throat> I'm gonna be biased with the situation, like I said, and I am going to give you my opinion and hoping every uh, everybody will accept my opinion and accept some evidence of some other stuff of this because we got to talk about it. So I want to give a shout out to Lovely T, uh, Lovely um, 2000 is her YouTube channel. I will link her YouTube channel and stuff. She inspired me to do this and I was just watching it. Uh, show, but I remember when I was coming up, um, The Little Mermaid was something that me and my sister, we had on DVD and thing. Excuse me. We had it on DVD. Uh, well, not DVD, on VHS. That was just something um, we had. And every time when I was younger, I could just think when, when I was about five or six years old, my sister was just a baby, that this was a movie where we constantly rented from the store until my mom decided to buy the tape for us. Okay, we brought, we collected Disney um, um, movies um, on, on VHS and I really wanna go back and try to get them all again. But overall, that's that. So I know, we know Disney's on this craze of trying to recreate the Disney princess movies these these are classics they are trying to do the live action version we got cinderella we had maleficent we had aladdin and thing i think we're gonna have um we got several others and um so i remember when they announced they're going to be doing the live action um cinderella so everybody was like this thinking oh ariel winter is going to play the character and stuff but when they made the announcement that Haley Bailey from Chloe and Bailey was these two beautiful singers, real good singers and actresses. When Haley, when they announced that she was gonna play the character, I'm going, oh my God, Disney's finally doing by, by diversity. All right. I said, okay. I wanted to wait a year and until I see the movie trailer and before and I want to see the movie because I wanted to see how it was going to turn out. Okay, I'm going to give you my thoughts on everything. And I just thought when I was when it came out and I start seeing how people people was hating on her, I was like, y'all are not giving this girl a chance, y'all. This is one of Beyonce's protégés. Y'all gotta think. So if she's one of Beyonce's protégés and she's under her with, with vocal vocal range, you know the music's gonna be real good and you know she's gonna perform those songs real good. All right? Okay, if you remember on Disney's 50th, she was on there and she saw the Lion King um, song and when I saw that, I'm going, okay. She's going to, she's going to kill the song. She's going, I knew she was going to, she's going to do good. She's going to, she's a powerhouse. Her vocals are real good. And so I'm going, okay, yay. All right. Then, all right. We wait a year. Okay. They made that, I think they made that announcement around what? 2019, 2019. Okay, it's been a couple years. They did the movie. They made the movie and everything. When I first saw the trailer, I thought, "Oh my God, this is beautiful," and stuff like that. When I start seeing all these hateful comments, I'm going, "It's you're not giving this girl a chance." To show what she can do, showing off her acting skills. And one pump pump, somebody on here on YouTube, I cannot think of his name. He go and I, he must be mad or something. He go, I don't know who Haley Bailey is. She's some 
unknown singer and songwriter and actress. This girl has acted on Blackish. She has acted on Blackish um, spinoff show, Grownish. So she got some acting back. She got some acting in her, okay? She's one half of Chloe and ha Bailey, the Bailey sisters, okay? We got, we're gonna have some good vocal range from her and stuff. So that's where I see it. But then, if y'all go and you do your research on mermaids, mermaids has came from, you don't associate um, certain things with mermaids. And what you don't know is mermaids are associated with West Africa, Nigeria, the Caribbean and indigenous people. Okay, lovely thing did talk about that. And I never knew that until I was like, 16. I, I asked my grandma and my grandma literally said, oh, this is where they're from. Da, 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 da. My grandma just edu educated me when I was 16. I was the only one who asked her. I always asked her, what's the meal? So mermaids and my grandma like literally told me what the same thing that Lovely T is telling everybody. They come from West Africa. Um, they come from Nigeria, um, the Caribbean and the indigenous people. Okay. All right, I knew I knew that, but then you have to think, where did Anderson Christensen get the inspiration to write this to write his story? Because if you look at his go back and read up on his story, his story has a little more of a darker side. It's more on the darker side than what Disney is telling. That's that. That's a fact. It is is actually is actually in is actually on the internet. The domain is actually on the internet. You put in, just put in, and I'm literally going to tell you because I have done this. I did it yesterday, and I said Anderson Christensen, Little Mermaid. The search you're going to be searching for is Anderson Christensen, Little Mermaid, and you read over it. It has, some of it, it has a dark undertone. In his telling, she was, she was trying to get the prince, preferred on the Disney version, Prince Eric, to fall in love with her. But she couldn't talk. She couldn't walk. It hurt it for her to walk and stuff, okay? But he ended up falling in love with somebody else and marrying somebody else. In the long run, in the in the in the storytelling version, because she couldn't get him to fall in love with her, she became Seafoam. Think about it. She became Seafoam, and that's the storytelling version. We get in the Disney version. She's having a happy ever after. And we got how many mermaid movies off of that? We got that one. We got Ariel's beginning, and we got. Ariel, when we meet Ursula's um sister and her pet um shark, okay, <laughs> to get me to say y'all got all of these comments for Haley Bailey and Disney, but do y'all ever have that? And it's only one time y'all have done this with Marvel, and I can recall. And I'm finna mention two two things: one, on a superhero. So if y'all know. Teen Titans. Teen Titans has sci-fi. Y'all got mad when they turned sci-fi, made sci-fi black. And I remember that. And all of y'all was pissed. Y'all didn't, didn't, didn't throw out comments or anything, but y'all was pissed about it. Okay. Now, I'm finna bust out a video. Tell y'all about a video I did you might want to go look at. Or go look up the character. Okay. Probably about two years ago, I did a video called African American Female Superheroes and Supervillains. In there, I talk about a character called Fire Fist. Let me tell y'all why. Fire Fist, and I can't remember if, it's, if Fire Fist is part of DC or Marvel, but it's one of them. And Fire Fist 
nationality was changed and her gender was changed. Did y'all say anything about that? No, I'm bringing it to your attention right now. Fire Fist was a female and she was African-American. I'm not saying everything is peachy, but you have to question. You can't just be mad at Disney because they did this. And I know that Disney's trying to make everything by diversity, trying to show it in a different light. But I really wish everybody who is hating, is hating, take a step back, think about the thing, think about the telling, and think about the telling of how Disney glamorized the, the story, and think about the telling of um, Anderson Christensen, and think about how Anderson Christensen got the idea. Because you never know the real story. Because you have to think. It's a lot of characters in Hollywood that supposed to be, and if you think about it, you go back and you think of movies, their characters were supposed to be African American or minorities. Let's just say it like that, minorities. Um, they make the character Caucasian. You have to think about that. And like I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking um, with this as educating y'all. I'm not, I'm not on either side because I, I don't, I just feel like it's, some of y'all like saying, oh, they could have uh, had, a, did a different telling. Hmm. But then some of the memes that some of y'all are putting out there about African-American women and stuff, I feel like y'all are hitting below the belt. And you can't just always say, that's not my area. You can't say that and stuff. And I'm saying like, coming, like I'm saying, I'm not on either side. I'm speaking as this as a black woman who actually did grow up to the um, original, um, original. But you have to think about other other things and stuff and how long it's been we had we got we had our first black princess princess tiana how long it's been since we had a actual no a another black princess and it's other nationalities i can say that really deserve to be featured on disney and stuff i mean you have to think some of these princess movies does have if you go back and you look at the original tellings Let's say it. If you go back and look at the original tellings, they have some dark undertones to it. And I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm not on either side. I'm, let's just say, I am proud that Haley is playing the character. But, but I really will say, I'm going to like, I'm giving this girl props. Lovely T, Lovely 2000, here on Tube, on the Tube. Um, she, um, she, she puts it into the perspective and stuff. And I really just wish everybody just take a look at movies and TV shows and characters from that and things that's based off the book, off books or based off of books or, or folklore and stuff like that. And you have to think about for many years, for centuries, let's just put it like this, for many of years and centuries and decades, Hollywood has always whitewashed characters. And I'm gonna put it out there and I'm gonna ask, what is one of the biggest whitewashed character in Hollywood? What was the biggest white watch character? I know one particular, but I'm not fin to talk about it, but I will link some of my videos. I will link, try to tell y'all, I'll try to um, list some of the videos you need to go watch that I have talked about this. But I just wanna, I'm just giving y'all my point of view of it. Um, I don't usually talk about videos like this, but literally, Anytime I do videos like this, I am, I'm biased. And literally, truly on this situation, I am biased. But you have to consider what is the new directive that Disney is trying to go. That is all I'm going to say. Until then, I'm Alicia. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.